Welcome to the Sparrowcast series, where we help you connect the dots. Take home the best ideas from industry experts and thought leaders right here on Sparrowcast by Survey Sparrow. Today we have with us Annette France, founder and CEO of CX Journey. She is an internationally recognized customer experience thought leader, coach, consultant, and speaker. Named one of the hundred most influential tech women on Twitter by Business Insider. And it started her career in this space as a voice of the customer consultant. She has 25 plus years of experience in helping companies understand their employees and customers in order to identify what makes for a great experience and what drives retention, satisfaction, and engagement. Welcome to the show, Anit. So today, Anit will educate us on designing a closed loop feedback process and tips to keep it fail proof. And it, could you please have you take over? Absolutely, absolutely. So closed loop feedback process, obviously very important, right? When we conduct surveys, we don't just survey for the sake of surveying. We actually have to do something with the feedback that we get from our customers. And one of the things that we need to do is, there are a lot of things we need to do with the feedback, but one of the really important components of this whole um, feedback process is the closed loop process. And the closed loop process is really about how do we acknowledge what we heard with a bunch of different constituents. I typically talk about there being five ways to close the loop. One of them is, or the first one is really at the personal level. The personal level is, is following up with individual customers. First, first of all, you wanna thank them for providing their feedback. So that's usually done through an automated uh, email through your system. But if the email, or I'm sorry, if the, if the uh, respondent, if the customer has said that they've you know, that they've got an issue that's unresolved or, or if the customer is not satisfied, we want to follow up with those customers and uh, help them resolve their issue. We don't want to leave anybody hanging and, and um, leave anybody dissatisfied or have an issue that's not resolved. So we follow up with those individual customers to get a little bit more detail about what's happening and then ultimately to uh, resolve their issue and then follow up with them on what that resolution was. And what we found in, in the past, and this is research that dates back to when I was at J.D. Power Associates in the early 90s, what we found is that customers who've had a problem that's been resolved are oftentimes more satisfied than if they've never had a problem to begin with. So this is a really important piece to, to go back to individual customers who tell you that they've got an issue and close the loop. Now, I know if you've got tons and tons of feedback, that might be hard to do, but you've got to do it. You've, you know, you've probably got some alerts or some thresholds set up in your, in your survey system and you've done that for a reason. So go and follow up with those customers. Um, the second way that you want to close the loop is what I call at the tactical level. The tactical level is taking the feedback that you've gotten, analyzing it, and then sent, getting it out to the individual departments that would be responsible for uh, acting on the feedback that, uh, about their department. So for example, if you're in customer support and you've gotten feedback um, from the cu about customer support, that feedback needs to get out to that team so that they can act on it and do what they need to do within their department to resolve the issues that are coming out of their department. The third way that you need to close the loop is at the, what I call the strategic level of closing the loop. And that is really the broader organization, right? You've gotten all this great feedback, but you got to go and do something with it. And, and the strategic closing the loop is really improving processes, um, new, new structure, new infrastructure, whatever it is, it's going to be some big change within the organization and it's going to affect the entire organization. It's going to affect all customers, right? Not just people who call customer support or not just people who have worked with your sales team or not just somebody who has been to your website, right? This is going to be a, a big change of uh, that's going to affect the processes and everything throughout the entire organization. The next thing that we need to do is we need to, um, and especially after we do something like that, is close the loop with our customers, right? We need to close the loop in a big way and let them know, hey, we heard your feedback, we're doing something with it, here's what we did with it, and here's how your experience is going to change as a result of that. And I think that last part of it is really key because it's it's all about expectations, right? The, the experience is all about expectations. And if we as a brand set the expectations that the experience has changed, and oh, by the way, here's the steps to get through the experience going forward, um, that'll be a big plus for, uh, for your customers. And then finally, but certainly not 
last but not least, you know, uh, we have to close the loop with our employees. They're the ones who are delivering the experience. And so we need to make sure that they have the information that they need. They have the data that they need to deliver the experience that's expected. So a couple of different things here, right? So one of them is um, uh, giving them feedback that's, that's specifically about them. So a lot of times we'll ask in surveys, you know, was there a specific employee who helped you? Or, or even, even if we don't ask about that, um, uh, customers will oftentimes say, you know, hey, I, I um, worked with Jane Doe and Jane was terrible or Jane was great or whatever, but we need to get that feedback back into the employee's hands so that they can be coached on what needs to be done well or, or recognized for a job well done and for delighting their uh, customers. And then the other way is that the other thing we need to do with, with employees is let them know what's being changed, right? Because obviously they're the ones who are delivering the experience. So we've got to let them know all about the process improvements and, and changes internally so that they can deliver the experience that, uh, that was designed for the customer. So those are really the five ways that I say that we've got to close the loop with, uh, on, our, uh, on our customer feedback. Thank you so much, Anik. That was insightful. I'm sure our audience felt likewise. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Well, uh, let me sum up the key takeaways from our session with Anit here today. The first and the foremost being, don't take survey for the sake of survey, take action on them. The second being, make it personal. Do not automate the closed loop. The third being, analyze the feedback and share it with respective internal stakeholders to ensure they can act on it. Could be tactical as well as strategic. strategic. Sorry for that. Keep customers informed of the action you're taking on the feedback. And last but not the least, close the loop with employees as well, since they are the ones delivering the message to the customers. Once again, thanks for your time and thank you for sharing your insights. Thank you for having me. A final question for our guests here. Did you have an opportunity to participate in any of the survey Sparrow surveys? Yes, yes I did. And could you share your experience? Of five? It was an it was an interesting. Thank you. It was an, it was an interesting experience. You know, obviously, I come from the world of, uh, of VOC um, vendors and, and in my background, and the survey is very different from what we did in the good old days, right? So it's very uh, conversational and it's um, it's fun to take. I, I love it. The key thing that I would keep in mind is that while it'll be engaging for customers to make sure that we always ask questions that are actionable and that are really getting at the information that we want to get at to make sure that we improve the experience. But the, but one thing about your survey is that the survey itself is a customer experience, right? That I think we have to remember that, that the, that the survey is a touch point and that the survey is a uh, part of the customer experience. And you guys have done a great job of that. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely an interesting uh, user interface and user experience as well. So thank you for that. Thanks for sharing that with me. I appreciate it. Thank you for your kind words. That keeps us going. <laughs> Thanks again, Anit. And we shall see, again, see you guys again in the next Sparrowcast. Fly along with us.